Hi folks, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton in the Curious Village. Last time I very poorly explained a puzzle, but also meant I was done on the screen. So we need to go find this guy, Zapone, and talk to him. Looking into the mysterious disappearances Looking into the mysterious disappearances around the village, are you? Well, let me give you my take on the situation. Well, uh, hmm. Is something the matter? Ah, uh, yes, now I remember. If it's rumors you're after, go take a tip from a fellow detective and go ask Crouton. He owns a restaurant in town. So that didn't do us a whole lot of good. Darn it. Oh, we need to walk this way. You're looking for the restaurant now? It's not far, just head a little west of here. But before you run off again, I've got a tip for you. If you want to experience all that St. Mystere has to offer, you can't just run from point A to point B. Take some time and explore the city from corner to corner. You'll be glad you did. Much appreciated. We'll be sure to give that a try. Come, Luke. We have work to do. Like right now. Yeah, strange. She wasn't here just a second ago, but that little talk with Deke seemed to make her show up. And guess what? She has a puzzle. Hey, mister. I've got a neat puzzle for you. If you solve it, I'll tell you a really big secret. Number 43, three umbrellas. This puzzle is worth 20 picarats. Three identical looking umbrellas are sitting upright in a stand. Assuming the owners don't check their umbrellas labels, what percentage chance is there that only two people will walk off with their own umbrella? And this one is actually another trick question of a sort, because there are three umbrellas. If two women get their umbrella correct, the third one has to. So there's no way that only two of the people can walk off with their own umbrella. It'll either be three, one, or zero. So there is no chance. should do it. Critical thinking is the key to success. Simple enough. Wow, that was fast. Okie dokie, ready to hear my secret? You know Lady Dahlia, right? Well, turns out she's not as mean as people make her out to be. In fact, I bet she's really a nice lady. I bet you a million picarats. And we get a blue bed. Well, since we gave the other bed to Layton, we'll give that one to Luke. And new puzzle in our index box. Yay! So anyway, we will keep up this trend of not just running straight to the, uh... Running straight to the, uh, p you know, point B, the restaurant in this case. And we will actually make a stop in here. Because this dude right here, he has a puzzle for us. I hear you've been investigating St. Mystere. Feel free to continue, but stay away from that tower. That place brings misfortune upon the village, and I strongly advise you to keep your distance. You know, he's supposed to have Let me talk to you again. I am a man who likes his templates and forms, and you are a man who likes stamps, yes? I thought so, and I thought you had a puzzle waiting for us. I have just the puzzle for a man like yourself, then. I strongly advise you make yourself useful and solve this puzzle without bothering me about it. Number 44, Stamp Stumper. This puzzle is worth 50 out of 50 points. 
Your friend just got back from the post office where she purchased a sheet of stamps with values ranging from 10 cents to $1. First, your friend cut out the $1 stamp and set it aside. Then she divided the remaining stamps into seven uniquely shaped bunches, each with a total value of $1. Can you divide this sheet of stamps the same way your friend did? Well, let's see. We need a bunch of... We need a bunch of dollars, right? Now well, let's see. And we need to use every single square. So that should be easy enough to do, right? Let's see. We could have two there. 90 needs to be paired up with one of these tens. The 60, that could be that way. This 50 could be it. But we need seven parts, right? Hmm. This might take a second. Let's see. We need one, two, three, four, five, twenty-four. We need seven, so we need, eh, I guess, two squares are going to be kind of rare. If we have a two square here, I don't think we need too many more two squares, or else we're going to have to make huge strips here. So we have 24, and we need at least three on most of them, right? Five, one, two, three, four, yeah, 24. So let's see. Most of them need to be fours and threes. And let's see, well, let's see, if I don't want to make that one, I want to... Okay, we'll start there and see where we go from here. I can make... No, oh, that's not a different shape. That's just longer. Ah. Uh. And this one needs 30, but the only way to get it would be this way. Okay, that looks good. I hope. I want to go up or sideways. We'll go up for now. I can fix it later if that doesn't work out. Well, that would mean that would kind of have to make that go there. One, two, three, four. I need three more pieces. Okay. Huh. Not much choice there, do I? Because that's shaped like that. Okay. 20. And I can't do that. Okay. Guess my trouble started here. Let's go to this way. See what that leaves us with. 30, 40, that has to be that way, oh, I see another one right here, and 20, 60, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that looks about right. There we go. I got it. Is the key to Works for me. Yeah. Okay. I knew a stamp aficionado like you could handle this. Now I can finally mail those documents. I strongly advise that you clear the office and let me return to my business. You need a poke in the nose, dude. You're rude. No need to be rude, we fixed your problem. Come on. Okay. Now let's go to the restaurant. Now that we've been rudely uh, accosted there. I don't think you two have anything new to say yet. 
Yeah, still the tomato bit. Uh, yeah, you still want the racket stop. Oh well, let's go to the restaurant now. And talk to Senior Crouton here. And this should take us into the next chapter. Ramon? He hasn't been around today. <sighs> it looks like we've hit another dead end. Too bad you couldn't find him. He usually skips out of work and comes over here to gossip and have coffee. And you know, speaking of gossip, I've heard some weird rumors from my customers lately. Recently, there's been talk of some strange old man running around St. Mystere kidnapping people. A kidnapper? Who is this old man? I heard all this second hand, so you got me there. You need to find a better source for village gossip. We know a few of those. You might want to try your luck at the cafe. Usually, you'll hear rumors straight from the source there. It's almost sunset now, so the cafe should be open for dinner. A mysterious old man kidnapping village folk. Now that's a rumor. You know, I wouldn't say that would be actually solved. We did not find much in the way of clues for his disappearance. Professor, it's getting dark out. I'm afraid that's my cue to stop to start closing up shop. Come by tomorrow if you get hungry. Luke, let's take a moment to sum up our findings. We have a strange roaring tower, disappearing villagers, and an odd elderly kidnapper. It's all so bizarre. I can't make any sense of it at all, Professor. I think we finally got some clues on our hands, my boy. Observing the nightlife on this village might tell us more of what we need to know. Great idea, Professor! Chapter 4, Night Falls. It's turned dark and Ramon still hasn't returned. Continue the investigation to find clues. Don't need to save. So, the first thing we could do is collect info at the cafe. However, Night Falls, new chapter, you know what that means? It means we've got new hint coins! Well, let's see. Oh, Lord. Where is it? There's one. Barrel? No. No. And then. Place is closed. Yeah, yeah. And that one's not going to open soon. Oh, coin. Uh, the manhole cover? Yep, there we go. There's our three hint coins. And now we can talk to you. Just enough time for this. I hope. I'm sorry, young lady. Could you help us? We're looking for someone, you see, and... Sorry, can't help you. And by can't, I mean don't want to. I barely even talked to Ramon, and I am so not interested in this search. He 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 he. I hate doing laughs. But maybe if you help me solve this puzzle, I just might, you know, remember something. Tee hee. And just who do you think you are, young lady? She's the girl that has information for us. But number 45, puzzled aliens were 30 picarats. From high in the sky, a pair of aliens observes humans using a bizarre object. Perplexed, one alien turns to the other and says, How strange. 
the Earthling is opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show the other Earthlings where the hole is. I've never seen anything like it. What could these extraterrestrial visitors be talking about? Well, that's actually a pretty good clue, or a pretty good question. You know, I mean... But opening a hole, what would the be? What would you be opening a hole with, huh? Maybe they don't mean opening a hole. Maybe they just mean drawing big circles. Hmm. Very possible. So let's see if I can actually spell this word. Because if it's just an object that draws circles on a sheet of paper. You know, it's a compass. No. Uh, let's see. There we go. I hate spelling out words. Let's see if this is the answer it's looking for. There we go. Yep. Critical thinking is the key to success. Yep, because well, if you think about it, like I said, an alien sees it is not really cutting a hole in the paper, just drawing a circle. There we go. Not laughing. You know, I've heard that if you aren't careful walking around St. Mysterio at night, you can run into trouble. I bet Ramon wasn't being careful. What exactly do you mean? Dot, dot, dot. And we have another painting scrap. Number six, if I'm not mistaken. And a new puzzle in the puzzle box. But that's all for now. When we come back, more exploration and hint coin finding. See you later, folks.